Hello guys, Guide Ranger here and in this video I am going to show you the Dutch Road build. Now, in this build I am going to be focusing mostly on critical chance, damage and attack. So, as you can see I have bad green equipment which gives me power, precision and ferocity and I have this room which will give me power and some burning duration. This is a random cheap room just to show you this build. Now, then I have also chosen this because in this build I have I am using this one which if you don't want to use this one you can just remove one and get this one so that whenever you enter that route which this build is mostly focusing on that route then you will surely for two or three attacks that you will manage to make in the five second fury you will, will be able to do 100 percent crit chance you will be able to have 100 percent crit chance while in this one doom fire it is good but it has a 10 second cooldown so now let's start speaking about this build now this build has six in spite two in curses and six in soul reaping and because of that i have a much larger and bigger much larger and bigger uh, life force as for the first one i have put this one so the normal attack of the death route is life blast so every attack that i will be doing i will be gaining I will be gaining one might for 15 seconds and then I have X training which I will be fighting with an X so I will have 10% increased damage with an X and the three X skills that I have will have a 20% reduction so the first one which will give vulnerability and now I have increased damage the second one which will give me 12 life force 12% will give me 12% life force and hit 8 times and then I'm using the focus mostly because of the skill, which will give four more vulnerability stacks, will give some regen to me, then I will gain 3% more life force out of this one. That's why I'm using this one. And this one, Doom Fire, which you will be doing burning damage. Now, as I said, if you don't want this one, you can always remove one from here. And even if you want, you can remove this one if you want and maybe put two in here the other two in here so that you will have more critical critical chance and a little bit more condition damage but I mostly and highly suggest that you use Doomfire then as for the curses I have I have first I have this one on critical chance I will cause bleeding and then as for the other one I have this one which I have a chance of 33% on every critical hit to gain a 1% life force and then as for the last throw, which is Soul Reaping, I have chosen this one, which every life blast that I will shoot, I will give the enemy to vulnerability for 13 seconds. And then I have chosen this one, the life force will drain by 50% less, slower. So this is another valuable trait. And then as for the last one, to make this build of the shroud more powerful. With this one, I will have 50% more chance to crit. Okay, so that's enough talking. I'm going to food and I will start the build. Okay, I will first clear this one. And now I can start. Now remember that I am not equipped with a lot of high quality gear because my gear is green. Now as you are seeing with every hit that I am doing with life blast I am getting an additional one might. As you are seeing, I have used Ghastly Claws, which will give me some life force. And as you are seeing, this build is this build gives a high survivability. ability. 
And as you saw, this build gives a high chance of survivability because you are always switching between your normal HP and your life force. I hope that you got an idea of this build and how to use it and especially how to use it in your own way so that you can be able to use a build which has a great survivability while not focusing on condition damage but focusing on crit damage and critical damage and critical chance. So that's all, have a great day and see you in another video.